Our objective in this lesson is to find solution of linear inequality in one variable involving absolute value. It is a mess that you understood my video lesson on solving linear inequality in one variable. The knowledge that you gained here is a prerequisite for today's lesson. Let's have a quick review. In my previous video lesson, you have learned about solving linear equation in one variable involving absolute value. In here, you have learned that if c is equal to 0, then there is only one solution, and that is x is equal to 0. If c is less than 0, then there is no solution, because there is no absolute value that is less than a negative number. And if c is greater than 0, then we have two solutions. In solving linear inequality in one variable involving absolute value, we have to consider four cases. Case 1, if the absolute value of x is less than a. If this is the case, we have to form the intersection of two inequalities. Those are x is less than a and x is greater than negative a. Less than may be replaced with less than or equal to. Case 2, the absolute value of x is greater than a. If this is the case, then we have to form the union of two inequalities. Those are x is less than negative a or x is greater than a. Greater than may be replaced with greater than or equal to. Case 3, the absolute value of x is less than negative a. If this is the case, then there is no solution because there is no absolute value that is less than or less than or equal to a negative number. And last case, the absolute value of x is greater than a negative number. If this is the case, the solution set is the set of all real numbers because the absolute value of a number is always greater than a negative number. Greater than may be replaced with greater than or equal to. Let us start solving. Here we have the absolute value is greater than a negative number. And this is case 4. So, our solution set is the set of all real numbers. Let us graph it. So, set of all real numbers is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Interval notation, again, is negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's do a quick checking. Let us substitute any value from our solution set. Let us say 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2 and 2 is greater than negative 5. So this is correct. Next one. So we have here the absolute value is less than negative 5. This is case 3. Case 3, then there is no solution. Let us try a number. Let us say again 0. If this is 0, the absolute value of 0 plus 2 is 2. And 2 is not less than a negative number. So we have no solution. Another one. Here we have the absolute value is less than 4. This is case 1. For case 1, we have to consider the intersection of two inequalities. So we have negative a. Our a is the constant, so negative 4. And then less than our x. Our x is the expression inside the absolute value symbol. So less than x plus 2. And then we have less than a, so less than 4. We have to eliminate these two here. I'm going to subtract 2, but I also have to do it on both sides of the inequality. So I'll copy negative 4 minus 2. I'll copy this minus 2. I'll copy less than 4 and then minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Positive 2 and negative 2 will cancel out so I have less than x. And then less than 4 minus 2 is 2. This is now our answer. So for the set builder notation, we just have to copy this. The set of all x such that x is less than 2 but greater than negative 6. Let us graph. So let's start with x is less than 2. So on 2, empty circle because this is just less than. The inequality points to the left. 
Here, we read it as x is greater than negative 6. So, a negative 6, another empty circle, greater than is going to the right. The intersection of these two is this one. So, interval notation from negative 6, excluded, to positive 2, excluded. Let's do a quick checking. Let us substitute any value within our solution set. Again, let me try 0. So, 0 plus 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. And 2 is less than 4. This is correct. Next one. The absolute value is greater than 3. Greater. So, this is case 2. For case 2, we have to get the union of two inequalities. We have x is less than negative a or x is greater than a. So our x again is the expression inside the absolute value symbol. So we have x minus 2 and then less than negative a. So less than negative 3. So we have to remove negative 2. Let's move this on the other side. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Let's have the another solution. x is greater than a. Our x again is x minus 2 greater than our a. Again, moving negative 2 to the other side, it will become positive. And 3 plus 2 is 5. Let me graph this one first. x is less than negative 1 on negative 1 empty circle. The inequality points to the left. This one, x is greater than 5 on 5 empty circle. The inequality points to the right. So for the set builder notation, it is x less than negative 1 union with x greater than 5. Interval notation, negative infinity to negative 1 excluded union 5 excluded to positive infinity. Let us do a quick checking. Let us substitute a value within our solution set. Let us try negative 2. So negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And 4 is greater than 3. So this is correct. On this side, let us try 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is also 4. And 4 is greater than 3. This is also correct. Next one. So first, let us move negative 3 on the other side. It will become plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So here we have case 4. And again, if it is case 4, the solution set is the set of all real numbers. So in graph, from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let us check. Let us substitute 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And negative 2 is greater than negative 6. This is correct. Another one. So let us move 3 to the other side. And 6 minus 3 is positive 3. So here we have case 2. For case 2, we have to get the union of two inequalities. Let's start with the first one. Our x is 2x minus 1. Less than or equal to negative a. So less than or equal to negative 3. Let us move negative 1 to the other side. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will cancel out. So I have here x is less than or equal. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Another solution, x again is 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to a. So greater than or equal to 3. Moving negative 1 to the other side. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Dividing both sides by 2. 2 and 2 will cancel out. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have x is greater than or equal to 2. Let me graph this one first. So a negative 1 because there is or equal to shaded circle. The inequality points to the left. 
here because of or equal to again on two shaded circle the inequality points to the right so our set builder notation is the union of these two interval notation negative infinity to negative one included union two included to positive infinity let us do extra challenge first let us move six to the other side it will become minus six 12 minus six is six to eliminate this three here we divide both sides by three three and three will cancel out so i have the absolute value of x minus three six divided by three is two so this is case one for case 1, we have to get the intersection of two inequalities. Let's start negative a, so that is negative 2, less than or equal to x, our x is x minus 3, less than or equal to a. To remove negative 3 here, I'll add 3 on all parts of the compound inequality. I'll copy negative 2 plus 3, I'll copy this plus 3. I'll copy this 1 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Negative 3 and positive 3 will cancel out. So I have less than or equal to x. 2 plus 3 is 5. This is now our answer. So set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 5, but greater than or equal to 1. Let us graph. I'll start with 5 or equal to, so on 5, shaded circle. The inequality points to the left. Then again, we read this as x is greater than or equal to 1. So on 1, another shaded circle, greater than, going to the right. The solution set is the intersection of these two. Interval notation, from 1 included to 5 included let us check let us assign value let us say 2 2 minus 3 is negative 1 the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1 so 1 times 3 is 3 and 3 plus 6 is 9 and 9 is less than 12 so this is correct quick tips isolate the absolute value expression on the left side of the inequality Familiarize yourself with the four cases. And finally, check your answer. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So first, let us move negative 12 to the other side. It will become positive 12. Negative 3 plus 12 is 9. Let us divide both sides by 3. 3 and 3 will cancel out. So I have the absolute value of x minus 2. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is case 2. For case 2, we have to get the union of two inequalities. So first one, our x is x minus 2 less than or equal to negative a so negative 3 let us move negative 2 to the other side negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 another solution our x again is x minus 2 greater than or equal to our a moving negative 2 to the other side 3 plus 2 is 5 so let me graph this one first I'll start with x is less than or equal to negative 1. Or equal, so on negative 1, shaded circle. The inequality points to the left. For this one, since there is also or equal, so on 5, shaded circle. The inequality points to the right. So the solution set is the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to negative 1 union x is greater than or equal to 5 interval notation negative infinity to negative 1 included union 5 included to positive infinity gets our next lesson solving word problems on linear equation and inequality in one variable